This year, many of the UK's music festivals are back, but only for those who can produce a negative COVID-19 test. I kind of think this is the safest I've felt since I know everyone's gotten their tests and stuff, and even submitting my own negative test. It's like a comfort almost, definitely. We have to get these special red wristbands here to show that we were tested negative. Now the government has also announced an insurance scheme worth more than $1 billion to cover everything from music festivals to conferences in case COVID-19 restrictions force the event to cancel. But the music and events industry say for some festivals it's already too late. Without a doubt there have been some casualties. Um, we're aware of that. Uh, many of my counterparts will be battling on this for the best part of nine months to a year. Um, I, I think the, the real positive thing about this is it's delivering a level of confidence to the sector in terms of workforce, um, because as you can appreciate, many of them stepped out of the industry because they were uncertain of whether it was going to re-engage. The UK's most famous music festival, Glastonbury, was the first major event to cancel this year, for the second year in a row. It was replaced with a live streamed concert which had some technical problems. It's also decided not to hold a one-day concert next month. The Latitude Music Festival in Suffolk was able to go ahead this month, but only just. There was some doubt after June the 21st and, you know, the cancellation of what was Freedom Day and putting it back to the 19th of July really put me under pressure, really, because we're, you know, we opened just two days later, three days later. Um, but what I managed to do is persuade the government to allow it into the events research program, um, and that gave me a surety that it would happen. Know your sister. But singer-songwriter Rory Graham, better known as Rag and Bone Man, says after more than a year of cancelled concerts, he feels confident tours will be back on by the end of the year. I think I feel a little bit better about them now than I did a couple of months ago, because I kind of had this attitude where, like, I kind of felt like, well, they're not going to happen. They're in the diary, but they're not going to happen. But now I feel better about it, that they're, that they're going to go ahead. I just, you know, I just keeping my fingers crossed for like the actual tour coming up in, in October. There are more than 700,000 people working in the UK's live events industry. That means a lot of jobs are depending on the government's insurance scheme to work. Nicole Johnston, CGTN, London.